Hey, and what is up, guys? I'm at the Arca Biotechnology Company. Uh, you probably know them from the MyAqua 1900 and the MicroPlift products I really love using. And behind me is an aquarium that I'm going to set up today. Uh, there are the folks from Arca, say hi. Hello, hi guys. And it is for Interzoo. Uh, so it's gonna be a little rough. We're gonna do a little vlog style. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have fun today escaping this aquarium. I got some dragon stones, some lovely plants from Tropica. Let's go. So guys, step number one is kind of transferring the rocks from the dojo. I use just, you know, the cardboard lid of the aquarium to kind of prep the hardscape a little bit on the ground uh, into the aquarium. And the most difficult part about is the aquarium needs to be transported. So it's quite close. Uh, Arca is located in Nuremberg, Intezo is in Nuremberg, but still it has to be loaded on a, you know, in a truck and get transported there. To make sure nothing falls apart, slides, you know, when you accelerate or you slow down the vehicle, I'm putting the rocks on the bare bottom, literally on the glass, and the rocks are sliding a lot, so you can see me struggling while doing so. But this gives me the benefit that I can glue the rocks in place to the glass, to the bottom of the glass, and then hopefully nothing is going to move while in transport. So, second challenge is to build the aquarium that looks great from three sides. When Arca hired me, they told me, oh yeah, yeah, we're gonna put it against the wall, gonna be super cool. And I'm like, yeah, okay, let's do something, you know, uh, that's going up. Uh, and big slope in the background, ordered like a ton of soil. <laughs> Turns out, no, 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 it's gonna be like freestanding. Uh, and since it's a peninsula aquarium, it has to be visible from three sides. So I had to puzzle a little bit, you know, putting the rocks together, but I think I came up with a pretty cool uh, composition. So this is like a mountain chain, uh, literally sitting in the middle of the aquarium and the rocks going like in all directions. Next things first, I filled in a good amount of aqua soil. Uh, I think I used, almost two bags, like nine liter bags of Tropica plant soil. And I used half a bag of three liter powder uh, to fill in the substrate. I brushed it in all the caves, uh, you know, created a slight slope towards the middle of the aquarium. So you can literally walk around from all sides. Uh, kind of makes sense. You know, it starts low in front of the glass and then slopes up towards the middle of the aquarium and then folds down again towards the other side of the aquarium. Next, I added some detailed stones on top of the stones, you know, the small stuff. Um, so it kind of sits on top and remains visible. I try to keep the balance, not overdoing it, but if you look in the front, it just adds some character and some more detail to the aquarium. I think it makes it really interesting. So you have just more little spots, little, you know, kind of little areas uh, which you can plant and explore when you know you have the finished aquarium. So I'm very happy with the result, the way it turned out. The Arca guys are happy as well. And now I'm hungry, so I'm gonna grab some lunch and then I'll get to the planting. So next I have planted the accent plants. For this, I used uh, my favorite planting map technique. So I just placed the cups all around the aquarium. I kind of used those, you know, little bay areas, you know, where the rocks are running in a dead spot. So I used the plants to fill in those, uh, yeah, bays, <laughs> which I would call them. Uh, so we have the Hygrophia Lancea Uruguaya. We have the Alternatera Rhinaki Mini. So I have just these two plant species because, you know, they're going to have like a pinkish and a reddish uh, color accent. Yes, we do have the Ocostone, but also, you know, within the plants, I wanted some color. So it kind of alternates, you know, between those two plant species and sometimes they are in combination and always I left a little gap in between so there can be some carpeting plants to have a strong green in contrast also I think to have like distinct you know like green roads or pathways leading towards the other side of the aquarium so now that the highlight plants are planted next up is the carpet and here I'm gonna use the lazy dry start method the way it works uh, you can take most carpeting plants but kind of Prominently, the Micrantum Monte Carlo just works the best with this plant, but also I tested with other plants like dwarf hair grass, Marsilia, Liliolopsis. But you know, you have some problems with hair grass and Liliolopsis because what kind of lays flat, those leaves, they can melt away and it's just a little bit messier. And Micrantum Monte Carlo, it's just, just much easier. I had the best results with it so far. So the way it works, you take either the potted version or the tissue culture version and you just chop off from the top in one centimeter intervals or segments as little pieces. You just make sure to sprinkle them evenly. What you want is to evenly distribute the cuttings in a thin layer and don't have like too 
many kind of overlap, this is gonna give the best result. Next step, you spray them wet. So you use a spray bottle, but make a thin line, you know, like soft but harsh. This way, the water is going to press the plant towards the ground. Uh, thanks to the moisture, it is going to stick to the soil, literally. Next step is to introduce some bioactive uh, component to it. I like using uh, this little, uh, what are they called, isopods, you know, uh, springtails. It's a cleanup crew. They're gonna clean up everything that kind of, you know, melting plants, fungus, mold, whatever can, you know, occur in the aquarium. They're gonna handle that. And then it's basically covered with a cling film and then capped. Uh, this aquarium in particular here for Arca, one employee, uh, Patrick, he has the honor to come here during the weekend and especially in the first week to pay super close attention. You want to make sure the plants don't dry out because they're not planted into the soil. Some of them lay just on the surface, uh, some of them closer, some of them, you know, more in a uh, loose way and just give them a very, very fine mist. You know, that's what I see people, they overdo the misting and you know, you get like water puddles, they slowly fill up the aquarium by misting. So don't do that mistake, just very brief spraying, uh, just a tiny little bit. The guys from Arca are going to keep this aquarium running until Interzoo in this dry start and then it's going to be transported and I will be able to show you what it looks like over there. So guys, we are here at the Interzoo, finally. Uh, this is the tank you've seen me build. This is exactly four weeks after I did the lazy dry start. And what should I say? I'm blown away. The guys at Arca, they took great care of the aquarium with you know, plenty of light, regular spraying. And I keep teaching you the lazy dry start is just the way to go for, you know, if you're lazy like I am. Just look at the carpet, guys. Look how shallow that is, how compact and dense. I've seen a lot of tanks here at the Interzoo. Uh, check out the full tour of the Arca booth with all the new products. Uh, and this aquarium was just so easy to take care of. You know, I heard a lot of people telling stories, you know, running into algae issues, resetting the tanks before Interzoo. And this one was just super, super easy. So I highly recommend everyone, if you need a tank for a certain date in the future, give the dry start a chance. The final result, my vision with the layout. So we have this Iwagumi, I don't know, you could say a diorama. It looks like a mountain chain, maybe like a volcano eruption, beautiful dragon stones from Arca. Kind of like how they are preserved and not fully covered by the plant mass because the carpet is so shallow. The Altonantera Reineke Mini has grown in nicely. Hygrophila Lancea Araguaya, two spots. Unfortunately, there was a little bit of melt, I will admit, with the Hygrophila Araguaya. So it's been replanted. This is it, basically, the final result. Let me know how you like this video. Smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And check out the full tour of the Arca with all the new products.